Time to go. Gotta go. Here we go. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Dirt Diggers UK. This is Scott. I am back on the pasture I was in the last time on the last video where I found some amazing items. Found pieces of a grenade. Found a Victorian brooch. A deer. There was a deer on it with antlers and all that good stuff. Uh, just to let you know, I'm on the legend today. The note, the legend. And I'm also just, if you didn't know, if you didn't know, if you're wondering what this is all about, what this is, um, I'm actually actually a Nook the Nomad representing the United Kingdom for the European field team with a couple other fine fellows. Back to the legend. Nook the legend, LG30. That's what's happening today. Brand new coil on the market. Absolutely love this coil. I anticipated it. I knew it was coming. I didn't know the exact dimensions, but when it landed in my hands, I knew. I knew this was great. I've already used it on the beach. I've proven it. To be a very confident or um, competent coil absolutely smashed it in the wet sand the black sand i've made videos of it you guys can check it out you can check out my settings i put my settings in there wet dry medium wet dry stuff like that um, what i'm going to do is there's a pillbox behind me it's all world war ii stuff right here all of it and i, I can get into that and, and hunt for that specifically on another day but i've got three like i said three square miles of this uh pasture that's divided up into seven fields and one of them is higher up because i'm in a floodplain and it's actually been plowed before so i'm gonna go check it out so here we go uh let me just show you what else i'm using uh full dive pin pointer this is a pulse induction pin pointer bag of course uh and my premium shovel i, I wouldn't leave home without it honestly this is a wonderful thing because i pack my stuff in a bag and this actually breaks down into two pieces and it's got no wobble, it's got no no funky things going on. Got a nice hard piece of plastic there to stop the wobble. Uh, decorate it with some uh, Star Wars stickers, because I'm a big fan, big fan. And I'm off. Thank you guys very much for joining me. It's an absolute sincere pleasure. And your support is always appreciated. Absolutely always appreciated. If you're new here and you like what you see, please hit subscribe. If you've been here for a while and you, you're a real nice person you probably hit that thumbs up for me too i don't know what it does besides make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside all right let's get to it guys off to the field here we go okay my friends if you haven't seen the last video i had to transverse this pipe in wellies over this four foot deep swamp to get to this virgin field i'm gonna do it um i disappointed some people last time but the thing is i'm not leaving the camera behind so you can watch me walk, and then I have to come back to get the camera and then walk over it again. That's three times for a camera shot. It's not happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to point this down to the feet. Oh, here we go. This is my little depth gauge walking thing, kind of. Here we go. I disappointed a couple people last time. I didn't fall. Oh, that is slippery. Oh, here we go. I got to do it. Oh my God, what am I thinking? Ooh, just be careful with that. Ooh, he's up, he's up. Okay, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. Just don't even mess around either, Scott. This isn't a joke. Oh, that went really deep. of the time <laughs> this is crazy all right here we go inchworm 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 here we go and i made it oh. wow that's crazy talk okay but we did it virgin field here i come Here we go, guys. First target. I'm walking about 10 minutes. Not much coming up. Actually, nothing coming up. But that's okay, too. 
There's that clay table. It's not too far down, so it means uh, everything I find is going to be right above that. Oh, look at that right off the bat. Boom. Coin. Is that a coin? No, it's not. Oh, my God. It's another piece of a grenade. Guys, this place is riddled with grenade stuff. Oh, my goodness. That's part of a Mills grenade? That's actually a really good one. You can see the, the perforations where they would have twisted. This turns into the bottom of the grenade after they prime it with the fuse. Wow. Okay, I'm going to be careful of the, uh, the big signals. There's numbers on there and everything. That is wicked. What a find. There you go. Grenade. All right, quick little tip, you guys. Just want to show you this. You know how when you're uh, metal detecting on stubble, when your coil is parallel to the ground, as it's supposed to be, you hit all the stubble from the front of the coil to the back. So this is what I do, all right? I'm going to teach you a little something that I do. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to metal detect with the back half of the coil. I'm going to kick this back out a little bit. So when I go left and right, it actually gets between the stubble and goes in the ground. So watch, I'll show you. So this is before... This is difficult, right? Pain in the butt. Kick this out. Bend it down a little bit. So now I'm going through the stubble. I'm actually metal detected on the ground with the back half of the coil. It makes life a little bit easier. It goes right through there nice and easy. Just let to show you that little tip. Just kick it back out. And you're good to go. I don't know if I'll remember to edit this in, but also another thing, if you're going to do stubble, uh, this is going with the grain. This is more difficult to go left and right in but if you go parallel to the grain and you do what i was telling you before even it's even easier because now you're just you're skimming between the lines it's going between that line it's going between that line that line that line that line and so on so that's another little tip okay come across a little jawbone right here Interesting. No idea what animal that is. Magic 30. Seems to have some size to it. Feels like a larger object. I shall dig it out and let you know what's going on. Solid and hard. Really don't want to pry on anything here. And that's the reason why that looks like a round object. And there's grenades in here, so. All right, guys, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That is a grenade. I'm just going to. I'm going to get away from here right now. Okay. And that is the full grenade. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to fill that in. Mark the spot. And uh, I'm going to have to call in the bomb squad on that one. Time to go. Got to go. Here we go. Not sure where I want to stick my spade anymore. I got something here. Very interesting indeed. Certainly circular. It's got a notch on the side. That's hard in the middle. That's not dirt. That's a mystery object to me. Mystery. 31, 32, 34. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. All right, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to say it has something to do with the military, to be honest with you. Guys, we're back on the pipe over the water. Okay? It's really high on this end, off, off the ground. <laughs> so, let's do the... Uh... Oh, my goodness. I just leaned forward just a little bit too much there. Just a little bit too much. Look at this rusty old pipe on top of a plastic pipe. 
with all my weight in the middle right now. Oh, oh Rock Random, he would love it right now. Love it if I went in. Love that. My shaft just slid down a little bit with my weight. Son of a gun, I think I might do this. Oh my God. Ooh, okay. Ha ha. Ha ha, I did it. You can't laugh at me now. Cause I'm not wet, Rob. Okay, onto the pasture, here we go. All right, we're back on the green pasture where it feels a little bit safer than where I was. I'm in an area that I think uh, might be prosperous for me. Uh, I actually found a King George II in this vicinity. King George II, that's early 1700s. This town was not even built to the early 1900s. So why is that here? I don't hey, I know. I want to thank you guys for coming in today. It's always appreciated. Honestly, each and every one of you, you are really appreciated. Your support constantly watching the videos. It's highly appreciated. Just walking along. Right on the surface, even. I think you guys can see that. It's a modern one pound coin. It's a large denomination, totally spendable. I'm super pleased about that. Oh yeah, got a pound in the pocket. That's weird, fresh drop. Might have been a dog walker or something. Don't know. That's not going in the fine spot. It's going right in my front pocket. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one, look. Look at that. You see that one. There's another one, two pounds, guys. Looks like I've been out here for a little bit. Rim's looking a little crusty. This side was down. It's a little bit more gold. That side was up exposed to the rain and stuff. Okay, makes sense. In the front pocket. I'm going to scan this area real quick. Of course I will. All right, so I basically set up in the beginning, crossed the pipe, went into the plowed field for a little while, fiddled around, found a grenade, and I left there, and I came and I did another little field for a little bit. Seagulls. Uh, nothing came up there, but I'm going to go back to a spot where I, sh uh, I originally did. And that's where, like, I had a silver coin spell come out of there. Lots of coins. A lot of pre-decimal stuff. So I'm going to head back there and see if we can fill the pocket with some coins now. I'm just going to go for the spot I know. And see if we can um, winkle any more coins out of there. Let's go have some fun. This LG30 must have um, intergalactic capabilities because this thing is out of this world. I am nailing every signal. I, I can feel the ground, man. It's like singing to me. It's talking to me. Total communication. Every little signal is wisping up in my headphones. Lows, mediums. Eating them up, spitting them out, waiting for that precious metal to come in and give you a nice little signal like this one. 33, about six to eight down. Be in there. Hey, what do you know? Let's crack this open together, guys. Fingers crossed. Here we go. <laughs> what a dunce. What a sad, sad thing to happen. Oh, man. Oh, hello, it's right here. Oh, look at that. All right, we got uh, what looks like to be a... That's a pistol ball, man. I don't know, is that a mus musket ball? It's pretty big. Could be a pistol ball. It's right in the middle. Okay, very good. Nice bit of history right there. Black powder. How incredible are you guys for sticking it out this far? I'm absolutely amazed. But I thank you. I thank you very much. Got a lovely 24 here. It's kind of faint on the end swing. Kind of banger on the end. Not a full solid signal from end to end. I'll dig it out and we'll find out what it's all about. There we go. What is it telling me right here? Because it is right here. Okay. There we go. Oh, is there something small? Do we have something large? What is that? Oh, I saw the end. I saw the roundness of the end, and I had hopes for a minute. 
but it's just another cartridge. Okay, here we go. I think I got something right here. Yep, another one. I just keep coming up over and over and over. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put this in here, but that's just the way it's been going. Um, a find to find, but I'm basically finding World War II um, cartridges here. I'm just it's World War II stuff over and over and over again, which is kind of cool. So what else can pop out? Maybe a badge, cat badge, something really cool. You never know. Forty. Oh my God, it's a really good one too. Come on, I got hope. Up with hope, down with dope. Let's go. Right, we're on top of something here. Just breezing through the finds, guys. Hopefully we find something good. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I found another one. Is it? Oh, no, I thought it was one of those, uh, <laughs> another bottom of the, one of those grenades, but it's not. It's, uh, you know what this is? And I'll tell you exactly what these are. If you ever see these. Okay, it's, it's like an aluminum cap. But this was the, um, this would wrap around a, a cork that went in the bottle. So this was actually the, the top you would grab and twist the cork to get it out of the bottle. So it's, uh, I don't know where that's from, but inside of there, that's going to be cork. This is actually old cork in here. Look, it's falling apart. It is. It's old cork. If you ever find one of these, you guys, that's exactly what it is. All right. All right, just happenstance onto this signal. Uh, it was in the wall of my hole. The wall of my hole. Ooh. Do we have a coin? Oh, yay. Hooray. Hey, everybody, look. Scott found a coin on this hunt. It's unbelievable. Okay. It's a big one, too. It looks like a big old penny. Big old penny, guys. Yes. Coin. Thank God. It's, just, it's a modern-day miracle. A little bit more rub, guys. Let's see what we got here. Nothing to really go by. A little, little silver corner there. What is that? But it's green, so we know it's not. It's going to be a top. I'm going to guess this is George V. All right, you guys, I just sealed the hole up. Put the coin in my pocket. Check the hole. Looks like we got some more action going on, so let me dig that out, and I'll show you what it's all about. It just fell out of there, onto there. I think that's the coin. We may have two matching coins. Going on here, let's see if this one's in better shape. I don't see much, there's not much light to work with. Hey man, check that out. Couple coins. Coin spell, even. Yeah, coin spell. There you go. Let's brighten it up a little. Let's make it bigger. Bigger, better. No, I don't think I'm going to get anything off that right away. I'm going to guess George. George V, guys. Lovely, lovely. All right, wow. My hunt is over. Thank you guys for showing up today. The police have been called, and I'm to wait for them here. What my, my dilemma is, and I haven't told them, uh, apparently they're going to sort it out. I got to take them to the spot, and they're going to investigate it. And uh, my, my question is, how are they going to cross that, that pipe? I'm not going with them. I'll tell them where it is because I, I marked it with a flag. So uh, they're going to have to figure out what to do. It's not my problem anymore. I'm not going there. I don't want to show them where it is. I gave them directions. It's easy to find. I'll take them to the pipe. I'll take them to the pipe. Maybe I'll get a little film action on it. But uh, thank you very much. It's been a very productive day. It's been an explosive hunt. Near explosive. It's been, it's been a lot of fun though. LG30, man. Just It's banging everything every little signal that was down there and you can't beat a clay table all my finds were eight inches and up so all the legend had to do was just aspire in that area and it did it just rocked it, it really really rocked it honest honest to goodness it is an incredible incredible coil now you can buy aftermarket coils for the legend and for the simplex but what i like to say is why well, put a ford part on a ferrari does it make sense you know what i mean match them up and it looks good too anyway that's my hunt Lots of cool stuff. Two coins. Thank goodness. Thank you. And uh, that's it. And you've been awesome. Thank you for being here again. Uh, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it will go up soon. And when it does, please smash that thumbs up if you're watching it right now. 
push the little buttons down there, leave a comment. It all helps. And uh, that's it. Scott, Third Diggers UK, UK Nomad for Nocta. Out of here. On to the next one. I think I'm going to hit the beach. Let's shake it up a little bit. Keep it going. All right. Take care, you guys. Thank you again. Bye-bye. really quick for the people that want to know here's my sentence you guys okay i'm in fill mode all metal mode multi three which is designed for moisture soil okay i'm going to go through my sentence real quick i've already did a noise cancellation automatically one through 13 it shows 12 recovery speed is seven iron filter is at five okay and that's accessible through the recovery speed over to the volume my volume is at four my audio gain is also at four. I'm gonna bring it up to four. I'm gonna accept that. Sorry, was it the wrong one there? Okay, I'm in six tone. Okay, and that's it. That's all you need to know. And the ground balance is 73 today. There we go. Off we go, off and running.